Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine uh, the equation uh, when x varies directly with y, as well as determine a constant k. So what they're saying is they're giving us the value of x and they're giving us the y. And they're saying that these two variables vary directly. Now write an equation to re represent that they vary uh, directly, as well as find the constant k. So remember, when we're looking at the equation from uh, direct variation, the equation looks like this, y equals k times x. So where x and y are going to be your variables, k is going to represent our direct variation constant. All right? So basically, to be able to determine um, our equation, we're going to write the equation y equals kx. Then you can see that the formula, um, uh, the values that we're given is x and for y. And they're asking us to write the one in the equation, but to write it in the form uh, to find the value of k. Well, if we know what y is, which is 12, and we know what x is, which is 2, then we just plug them in and solve for k. So to solve for k here, I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides, and I get 6 equals k. So to write a direct variation, we're going to direct variation is going to be for any two values of y and x, but with the constant k. So that would be y equals 6x. And that would be my formula in direct variation. So again, now we have a fraction, but that's OK. Don't like freak out just because we have a fraction. You're just going to do the exact same things. Plug in your values. So y is negative 10. So I plug in a negative 10 equals 2, oops, equals k times 2 thirds. So if we need to isolate k, see here, my k was being multiplied by 2. So we undid that by dividing. Now my k is being multiplied by 2 thirds. So you could undo that by dividing as long as you remember when you divide fractions, you multiply and reciprocal, uh, reciprocate. The other way to look at this is to think, really, the reason why we divide is because 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. And 1 times k is k. So really, I want the 2 thirds to be 1. So you can think of it dividing, which would be multiplying by the reciprocal. Or just think of any time you have a reciprocal, to get it to 1, you or any time you have a fraction or a number, to get it to be 1, you can always multiply by the reciprocal. So therefore, now I have to multiply my fraction times a whole number. So I rewrote negative 10 as a fraction. And when you multiply them, you get 3 times negative 10, which is a negative 30, divided by 2. That multiplies to 1 equals k. This can be reduced to negative 15 equals k. So my constant is going to be a negative 15. Now, to rewrite that in a direct variation form, I have my constant. And I want to write um, it for any values of y and k with that constant. So it's going to be y equals negative 15 x. OK, let's go and get into our last example here. Um, again, we just have some other uh, um, x values. So we're just going to plug them in. So I have y equals kx. Again, we're given not negative 9 and y. So I plug those in. So I do negative 2 is equal to k times negative 9. Now again, we solve. So I divide by negative 9 on both sides. We have a little issue here. Uh, the negatives divide out, but 9 does not evenly divide into 2. So guess what? I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave it as 2 ninths equals k. Now my constant is a fraction. But you can have a constant being a fraction. That's perfectly fine. So now I just replace my k with 2 ninths, and I have y equals 2 ninths x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write an equation, um, write a direct value equation, determine the value of constant when you're given two very two values that direct that relate direct or that re directly relate to one another. Thanks.